In the world of insects, it is an existential struggle just to survive. Many of these unusual creatures have come up with really creative ways to survive, cunning defense mechanisms that allow them to thrive in the secret world all around us. For the assassin bugs, this is a brutal venom, giving these animals some of the most painful bites in the insect world. And the largest among these fearsome creatures is the wheel bug. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I'm on a mission to discover the secrets of the natural world. Here in Texas, I'm on the hunt for some of the most iconic wildlife of the American Southwest. But while exploring a forest, we came across one of my favorite insects of all time. Now, it's getting dark, but I saw a little bit of movement on the bark of this tree right here. And have a look at that. That is one of my favorite insects, the wheel bug. This right here, folks, I'm into the little container here so you can see them better. It's incredibly camouflaged against the bark. But that is North America's largest terrestrial bug. Very careful what I said there. I didn't say insect. Because some of you are gonna go in the comments and be like, well, what about praying mantises? Or this is at its largest, the largest terrestrial true bug, especially the predatory true bugs in North America. And this is a fierce insect predator. And have a look at that. They get their name from that big old crest on their thorax. It's almost like the, the crest of a Spinosaurus or something from Jurassic Park. And they are absolutely intimidating. But what's crazy is they don't always look like this. As they're nymphs, they almost resemble a black widow or something. They have really red abdomens and a jet black thorax head and legs. Uh, which makes them stick out, but it's an aposomatic coloration because these insects have one of the most painful bites in the insect world, and uh, I won't be testing that today. It is really interesting, but these guys have a venom. This is a venomous insect. They have digestive enzymes that they inject into their prey or would-be predators using that little beak right there called a rostrum, but that actually houses as a, a tiny little proboscis which can dart in like a needle to inject enzymes into an attacker or prey. And uh, I haven't actually analyzed the effects on human blood yet, but I'm planning on doing that with this specimen at some point. But what it's expected to do is it acts as a cytotoxin. It destroys the cells of the victim. And what that'll do in an insect is it actually dissolves the insides so that this animal can drink up that soup like a milkshake. But for someone like us, if we get a bite, it's gonna cause a lot of localized inflammation and pain. It's why this is something that a lot of people will actually kill on sight. Now, there's another reason why this animal would be killed on sight, and that's because it's an assassin bug, and a large one at that. And uh, the problem with that is there's another large assassin bug in the Americas, which is reported to transmit a really nasty disease called Chagas. They contain a protozoan parasite that can give you really nasty symptoms and the disease can be life-changing for the worse or even deadly in extreme cases and the symptoms don't don't come on for a while so a lot of people will see this and think that it carries chagas disease and they'll kill it on sight but only one small group of assassin bugs actually carries chagas that's the kissing bugs the triatoma but this is very different than a kissing bug kissing bugs will be black with a lot of red checkering and red patterning out and cooperate this time. But the wheel bug, if you will cooperate, there you go. The wheel bug is a mottled gray, a little bit of checkering, don't you fly, a little bit of checkering on the abdomen and those long, bright orange antennae. The biggest tell between this and a kissing bug, because the coloration may vary, is gonna be that face. Most assassin bugs have kind of that weird rounded or oval shaped head that immediately comes back down into that huge rostrum. But a kissing bug will actually see that face get very elongated. That's why one of their nicknames are the cone noses. So you'll see a very long snout before it kind of bends over into a much thinner, a much thinner rostrum because they're actually parasites and they don't want their, uh, they don't want their host animals realizing they've been bitten. These guys have that really powerful rostrum because they're insect predators that need to pierce the tough exoskeletons of beetles, wasps, bees, grasshoppers, things like that. I've seen these guys take down caterpillars as well, but 
with a beak like that, they can certainly take down much tougher prey. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in the container because this is a specimen that I'll be keeping for further research. I don't see these too often anymore, but that is absolutely incredible. Get back in the container. Don't bite me, I don't wanna bite you. Play that game. Oh, you can actually hear him uh, stridulating just a little bit when I pick him up. It's another warning thing. These, these, these insects don't wanna bite you. Um, they will do everything they can to not bite because that venom is a very, very precious resource out here, and they normally need it just for just for prey. But yeah, just like that. Really awesome wheel bug. The wheel bug might be a bizarre creature, but the insect world is full of strange and unusual animals. And the group that probably has some of the weirdest are the beetles. If you want to see some of the secrets that the beetles have to hide, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.